another guy for basketball. I'm not a guy. I'm a girl, an older girl. Since when? Since I started going steady with Harvey Klinger, and I no longer play kids' games. What are you doing up here? You're supposed to be helping us. Yeah, dusting the living room. And sweeping the kitchen and patio. Dust makes my eyes red, which is very unbecoming to a woman going steady. Oh. Well, then just sweep. It would ruin my feminine posture. You're only 13. You're not old enough yet to have a posture. What do you need false eyelashes for? That one looks like a seesaw. It makes me feel womanly, glamorous. That's why women wear perfume and eyeshadow and lipstick. Makes you attractive to a man. Beautiful and exotic. It does? Well, I might as well be beautiful and exotic. Me too. Lovely, lovely. Isn't that just absolutely mm -hmm. just lovely? Ah, oh, my goodness. So fast. Just what do you think you're doing? Just go talk, Mom. How do I smell? Like you need a long, hot bath. And right now. What about me, Mom? How do I look? Oh, Cindy, I know your mouth is there someplace. <laughs> Try some soap and water and see if you can find it, okay? I was experimenting with the eyelashes, Mom. Going steady's one thing, but wearing false eyelashes is out. Out? A lot of girls my age wear makeup. Well, I'm sorry, that's their mother's problem, not mine. Now off they come. Ouch! Like Harvey says, parents just don't understand our generation. Marsha, I understand it better than you think. Well, I've already lived through your generation. But things have changed since you were my age. Only times have changed, sweetheart. People haven't. But they have. You know what Harvey says? A girl my age is like a 20-year-old used to be, and a boy of 14 is like 22. A girl of 13 is like 20, and a boy of 14 is like 22? That's what Harvey said. Oh, I should have listened to you, Mike, and not interfered. Well, I don't like the way this is changing, Marcia. Of course, on the other hand, maybe Harvey has a point. What? I mean, we're understanding modern parents. We have to be open-minded and fair about things, right? What's gotten into you? Well, if Harvey is 22 and Marcia is 20, then that's the way they ought to be treated. That's what Harvey says. Hi, Mr. Brady. Hi, Harvey. Good to see you. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. Sit down. Make yourself at home. Marsha's uh, running a little late for a date, but that's a woman for you, huh? <laughs> yes, sir, that's a woman for you. Oh, boy, what we men put up with, huh? <laughs> yes, sir, we men. <laughs> yeah. You two doing the town tonight, huh? Kind of taking it easy tonight, just a soda. <laughs> you know, Harvey, I wasn't too sure about you and Marsha going steady at first, but as you say, she's like a woman of 20 used to be, and uh, you're like a man of 22. That's right, sir. Yeah, then, see, I think that's the way you ought to be treated. I mean, you're not a kid now. You're practically an adult, right? Yes, sir. And ready to face the responsibilities of life. Yes, sir. Harvey, what are your plans for the future? The future? <laughs>